information which is actually correct, but you have not verified it. Without tasting the sugar, you cannot say that you have got the knowledge of sugar that it is sweet. Your information is correct because other person is, other person has certainly discovered, he certainly knows it to be so, and you can rely upon Shraddha, but with that you have to put a pinch of sugar on your tongue. Ha, ah, then what? Yes, sugar is sweet. You have verified it. Like this. Same thing, any knowledge where direct knowledge, direct cognition is possible. If direct cognition is not possible, direct knowledge is not possible like Nitya Paroksha Svarga or in the field which are beyond the ken of human beings, like no, like sun is stationary, etc., there it has to be paroksha in terms of, that means some information here and there based on what I already know. And the other, for example, the heavens, in heaven, I said, yesterday I said, Airavata is there, white elephant. I don't know, I have not seen an elephant which is white, but white I have, color I have seen, elephant I have seen, combination I have not seen, I can understand them. So what should be told by Shruti, I can understand. So this way we have seen now here, in the case of direct cognition, the anubhava in conformity with the thing in question is the basic constituent. The, but our problem was, how are we to gain the anubhava of Atma? In our vyavahara, in our day-to-day -day transactions, in our dealings with the world, in the waking state, so the abhasa in the dream state. What we find is, for any knowledge, for any experience, what all, what, what all things are required? Me, the individual, pramata, or the anubhavita, the knower, or the experience is a must. And that knower or experience has to, what has to do? Use a pramana to interact with a prameya and gain the prama of the thing. I hope you know what is pramana is the means of knowledge, prameya the thing in question to be known, prama the knowledge of the thing. So is it not? So that being the case, so same thing, in experience or anubhavita, with the help of means of experience like your sense organs, organs of actions, mind, intellect, with these means of experiences, has to interact with a anubhavya, anubhavya, the thing to be experienced, as a result of which one gains, gains the anubhava. This is what we can do in our transaction or dealings with the world. But this method is not available in gaining either anubhava or jnana, knowledge of atma. Why? Because in earlier cases, the anubhavya, the thing to be experienced, or neya, the thing to be known is available for the objectification, vishayi karana of sense organs, organs of actions, mind, intellect, antakarana, as the case may be. But here, atma tattva, the chaitanya tattva, the pure awareness principle is the very principle because of which pramata is able to function because of which very principle, because of which pramana can be operated, because of which the very knowledge and the existence of prameya can be known or experienced. This is not available for objectification. Then, how are you going to gain the knowledge? If we say, no, there is no experience necessary in, in accordance with the atma, then it is bound to be paroksha jnana. You have no direct cognition of Atma Sarupa in conformity with its nature. But you have got some information like heaven is like this, this, this. Such, such, such a things are in heaven. For example, let us say, Atma is the one because of which you are able to know everything. Because all the things in the world are inert in nature. They are jada by themselves. A jada thing, an inert thing, cannot know itself, nor can it be known by other inert thing. 
you are able to gain the knowledge that itself shows that there must be a knowledge principle distinct from the inert thing. This Anumana. And we do have Shrutis to support that. For all the methods like Dhridrisha Viveka, the Shruti itself gives. Sakshi Saksha Viveka. So that way, so that way Sakshi, a principle, a knowledge principle which makes us aware, makes us know all the things that are inert in the entire creation, including my embodiment and also Ahankara, who by itself is inert in nature, such a thing must be there. We do get Shruti statements also, Prati Bodha Viditam Matam. Bodham Bodham Prati Viditam. With respect to each and everything that you know, the Pratyayas, Vishya Antakkarana Vritti that comes, that is known because of which this principle. Shruti also says, Atma is Pramatra Swarupa. The knower is the knower, the experiencer is the experiencer because of this Atma Tattva, the knowledge principle. Even the very Swarupa of Ahankara, Ahankara himself poses as Karta, Bhokta, Pramata, Anubhavita, all these are the different facets or the different roles played by who? Ahankara. The very Swarupa of Ahankara who poses as a sentient entity, uh, the wielding the Antakkarana is who? Is that, that Swarupa itself is Atma Swarupa. Is it not that? Can we not know that way? That understanding, is it not that itself the knowledge? Suresh Acharya comes and tells, this is not paroksh, Aparoksha Jnana. Tat Linga Vyavadhana Pratipatti Linga Vyavadhani Na Tat Pratipatti He remarks, because at one place, a Purva Paksha says, look, why do you bring this Mahavakya here? All that you want to know is what? To Atma Swarupa, no? All that is required is Yukti. There is Shruti also is there, but he doesn't bother about the Shruti. All that is required is Yukti, because any Saksha, any Drishya necessarily should have Drip Tattva, the knowledge principle, without which no inner thing, whatsoever it can be, ever be, no. So why do you bring this? Always you should be what? Lagu, you know? You should never be Guru. Which Guru? Not Guru Shishya. You should be light, travel light, as many of you have not brought the books. But I will be happy if you travel light while returning, okay? <laughs> so therefore, so you should be laghu. You should be light. Why you want, look at by yukti only if we can gain knowledge, why you bring that Mahavak, etc., Shruti to burden our head? Why do you need all those things? So that's what is the contention of this. So he says, he says, yes, you can arrive at this existence of Atma Sarupa, that such a Sakshi Atma, the very knowledge principle is there by such methods, like Anvaya Vetireka means the continuance of Chaitanya Tattva, discontinuance of the Anatma inert aspect, etc. Yes, he says, but it is Linga Vyavadhani na Tat Pratipatti, Linga Adhina Tva Tat Pratipatti. That Pratipatti, that knowledge, that understanding that you have got that such and such tat, atma tattva is there distinct, totally distinct from anatma tattva, totally distinct from your embodiment, gross body, subtle body, causal body, distinct from that such a principle exists. You are right. But that knowledge is, is what? It has got linga vyavadhana. Vyavadhana means interposition, screening. It is distanced, it is separated by a linga, it is not a direct cognition. You can take an example. Yonder on the mound you see the smoke. You infer there is fire on the mountain. Are you right or wrong? You are right. You are right. There is fire on the mountain. You have got this knowledge now. What is that? There is fire on the mountain, accepted pramana, anumana, inference is accepted as a valid means of knowledge. But your knowledge of that fire on the mountain is indirect and not direct. 
it is not a direct perception of the fire, but do you know what is the direct perception there? Smoke you have directly perceived. Your eyes have reported the smoke. Suppose a Bombayite comes here and right now sees the Ganges. How come so much of smoke has come on this? It's like a fog-like thing there. So because of cold, the water particles etc. have become dense. So like a cloud-like thing they've seen. So it is possible. But here, smoke here seen with the eyes directly. But has this person seen the fire directly? Inference is correct. But it is indirect knowledge accepted as valid. But it is not direct perception. Likewise, pratibodha viditam matam. With respect to all pratyas, you can arrive at the existence of atma, which is directly cognized. Pratyas, antakkana vrittis, corresponding, all that you know is directly cognized, or atma sarupa is directly cognized. Pramatma sarupa, you say the pramata is directly cognized, or the chaitanya tattva which makes the pramata, the pramata, that is directly cognized. Pramata. Sarupa of ahankara, is it not the ahankara which is directly cognized and not the sarupa of that? Means what is there here? Linga vyavadhana is there. A screening of a linga, that means separation as it were, by a linga just as fire on the mountain, you are right, you know the existence of the fire, but you have not seen the fire. So therefore he remarks, this lingam astitva nishthatva. A linga, a sign, a mark, is based on astitva nishthatva. It can certainly prove the existence of a given thing, but not by itself can give the direct cognition. So, therefore, this is that. So, therefore, our Shastra says, Pratibodha viditam matam. Not only that, we get in the Bhrugavalli also. Annam pranam mano, annam pranam shrotram chakshu mano vacha miti tagum ho vacha yato va imani bhuta nijayanti ye najata nijivanti yat prayante visam vishanti tad vijidnyasasva tad brahmiti annam pranam shrotram chakshu mano vacha tvak etc. What are these? Bhajagara says, Dwaraha. Dwara, these are Dwara, the Pratya, Pratibodha Vidham, the Pratya serve as the Dwara means what? Means by which you can arrive at the existence of Atma, such a knowledge principle, such a thing is there. So also we get here in Bradharnaka. Yoyam, yo, yo, yoyam, yoyam Vidnyanamayaha Praneshu Rudyantaha Swaya, so Rudyantar Jyotihi. Yoyam Vidnyanamayaha. The one who is of Vidnyana Swarupa means distinct from the gross body. Praneshu, distinct from the prana. So again, Rudyantaha, Rudyantaha, abides in the Antakarana. Anta means at the same time distinct from the Antakarana. But what is this nature? Jyotihi. Existence is proved, distinct from all these Anatma. But what is that cognitive? What is the Swarupa? Because now here, by Anvaya Vedrika, etc., Drikdisha, you have got what now? Atma and Anatma. Two existences have come into picture. But what is there is? One is false, other is Satyam. So that if that false is false, when will you know? If you say Shruti says, yes, you are right, but it is Paroksha Pratipatti. Adhishthana, adhishthana yathatmya jnanam vina adhyasthasya mithyatvam na siddhyati. Unless adhishthana yathatmya jnana, the direct cognition of the basis is, that means, that is perceived or cognized, whatever that is falsely superimposed, whatever that is falsely attributed is false, you can't say. If you have not seen the rope in the place of the snake which you have mistaken, you cannot say that it is, no, it is that snake is false. No doubt your friend has seen it and he says, look, it is false. Yes, you can accept it. That is what friend's word and pramana you can accept. But your pratipatti is not aparoksha, not direct, but it is indirect. When you bring the light and see the rope, then you can say what? That snake is? 
till then the anatma is false shruti is pramana but my knowledge is what it is only bedran shruti i have not yet verified otherwise we have to say atma swarupa is aparoksha swarupa nitya mukta swarupa samsara varga swarupa is something which is nitya paroksha like swarga shruti says us and therefore we have got shraddha in the shruti we have to accept it is not verifiable this cannot be accepted because shruti itself shows that it is aparokshataya available so that being the case any such cognition any such knowledge no doubt helps us there is a method we have to arrive at this by drikdrsha viveka anvayatreka there with nashkarma siddhikara sureshwara acharya says this is the iyatta this is the limit up to which the anvayatreka method anvayatreka you know continuous and discontinuous atma swarupa i always exist but whatever that i mistake myself to be i if it ceases to exist that one time or other it is not my swarupa for example we take the physical body as i if physical one thing do we know or not i whatever the i is always exists or not it is in the waking state it is the dream state it is also in the this is state if physical body were i i should be available all along this body physical body should be available in the dream state and deep sleep state which is not true it get discontinued vetireka where in the dream and the this this state then perhaps antakarana so antakarana may be the atma swarupa because it is available in the waking state dream state no it gets terminated where in this this state vetireka but chaitanya because of which i know waking dream and this this state anvaya continues all along so like this this anvaya vetireka method is that we have to use and we come up to the point that such and such atma swarupa swayam jyoti swarupa no deeti nastameeti such a thing is there but direct cognition is not there therefore he says that means by mahavakya only what is required is sada sad uthita sada sad uthita ayam atma ayam atma this atma is who sada sad vithita atma sada sad vithita atma ayam so by vakya only can be known. sada sad uthita means free from sad and asad means free from murta amurta means free one that is nirvishesha at that time purva paksha comes and says oh you want the atma swarup cognition of atma swarup which is free from all vishesha means free from all that means attribute is it not i will give a simple method why you crack your head with mahavakyas and shruti etc all what shepherds cowards all fools idiots and scholarly people can also gain atma swarup what go to sleep even in the vedanta class why not nirvishesha sudeshwara says yes i would have accepted that provided ignorance is not everyone knows that this swarupa nirvishesh swarupa is my swarupa if that knowledge were there i would have accepted that but unfortunately what is that ignorance is that means even if you see so long as the pramata who is operating the pramana is there any cognition any understanding any experience is short of atma swarupa do you know why this pramata is a falsely attributed factor on whom chaitanya swarupa in sleep no doubt the pramata is not there experience continues to be there but ignorance is there that is not going to help so then how are you going to gain the knowledge is it ever possible to have this mind without pramata at the same time ignorance is not there like sleep in sleep what happens antakarana mind is not there at all it is it is in the dormant stage in the adhyana avastha its root its immediate cause so is there a state where mind is there but pramata is not there ignorance is not there is it possible yes when the mind is absorbed in the swarupa so even in the nir- nirvikalp samadhi a who patanjala yogi pramata is not there prameya is not there at the same time sleep is not there ah 
Sleep is not. He is aware. Aware of what? Not a particular thing. Nirvishesha. Then is it knowledge? It could have been the knowledge provided this person had inquired and ascertained how the embodiment cannot be I. Ask him, hey, you got Nirvikalpa Samadhi? Yes. Who got it? Me. Which me? I took to sadhanas, yama niyama, asana, pranayama, pratyahara, dharana, dhyana, samadhi. I got this nirvikalpa anubhava, nirvikalpa samadhi, which I, one who is mistaking the embodiment as I, one who is identified with the embodiment, pramata or the karta or the bhokta, so what? This person, actually speaking, has got an anubhava experience in conformity with our Swarupa, which is Nirvishesha, at the same time the Antakkarana is not Sanskrita. Sanskrita means not that one which has not studied Sanskrit. It is not Shastra Sanskrita. He has not exposed to the discipline of Shastra to take to inquiry, to discover the embodiment cannot be I. Shuddhantakana, perfect Shuddhantakana he has got, because he has got Nirvikalpa Samadhi. Itself is not sufficient. It should be Shuddha, at the same time it should be Shastra Sanskrita. So that being the key, so that means, actually this is what is called Atma Anubhava. Atma Anubhava. See, whenever you use the word Anubhava, is it not that, say, whatever that we specify determines the Anubhava? Sugar Anubhava is determined by what? Sugar, is it not? Suppose neem leaf anubhava. Neem leaves are here, okay. And I distribute two to each and taste it. You have a taste, is it not? Had specified by the word neem leaf anubhava. Atma anubhava. Specified by what? Atma. But we don't know. Atma. Yes. Shuti is there or not? Shuti gives the specification of Atma, what its nature, nirvishesh, etc. But at the same time, that means this is the basic constituent of aparoksha jnana. Then atma is, if this is not there, that knowledge is paroksha, it is indirect only, it can never be direct cognition. Now, if this is the case, but atma swarupa is all the time anubhava swarupa, svaprakasha swarupa, then our true nature should get revealed all the time, is it not? Is there a single moment when Atma, our treacher, Swarupa is short of the knowledge principle or short of Anubhava Swarupa it is? What do you mean by Anubhava Swarupa? See, Surya is Prakasha Swarupa. What do you mean by that? Prakasha, 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 independent of everything. That helium gases are taken for granted. That is what is called as Surya. Like that you don't take a torch and then what? Sun gives the light. No. Like that, Anubhava Swarupa means independent of pramata, pramena, pramana and pramana, vyavahara, one way is anubhava, 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 anubhava. Then all along it is so, then what, why you want? But all along it is so, this anubhava swarupa, it means, what does it mean? It is swata siddha. It is enough to create complications and misunderstanding. It is of no use to us in terms of direct, that means cognition of our swarupa. Do you know why? All along, because, see, any blessed anubhava you get is because of what? Atma Swarupa only, which is anubhava Swarupa. Just on the screen, actually, that means arc light is there, a film is moving, any picture that you see on the screen is on account of what? Basically on account of lights, arc light, is it not? But the specific features are designed by who? Projected by who? The film, is it not? Like that, any unblessed Anubhava is basically on account of Atma Swarupa, but the, that means features, that means the specific features of those Anubhava are deserve, projected by who? Antakkarana, mind in terms of various patterns called Antakkarana Vritti. Is it not so? So that means, as a result of it, due to ignorance, what happens? All these are mistaken as our part and parcel. 
do anubhava swarupa atma is there what we get anubhava is a distorted picture of our swarupa just that the light that is there on the screen is available to you with the distortions of all the filmy projections is it not so like that now even at that time is the light contaminated has the light undergone any change likewise in and through all our experiences good bad sorrowful happy joyous all ignorance and all that atma swarupa is in its true nature asanga not at all affected by any of these projections of the antakarna no problem on the part of atma it is in its own true nature sapratishtha atma under all circumstances at all places if that is the case why do you not know our swarupa problem is not with atma swarupa problem is with the antakarna that's why shastra says handle take care of these defects of the antakarna what are those mala vikshepa and avar mala because of all duritas etc so many obstructions are there and that is what happens hindrances are there that is to be eliminated by karma yoga vikshepa lack of steadiness agitation the mind take to upasana get the chitta naishchalya still what is that avarna erroneous notion as the body etc is me etc take to vedantik shravana manana as a result of it get rid of all the wrong notion that shuddha antakarna so prepared that antakarna which has got rid of wrong notions about oneself etc by shravana can what can gain as now a capacity to conform itself to the true nature of atma do atma is not available for vishayi karana it has got the inherent capacity a built in capacity to assume the swarupa of atma in its true nature that is why we find in 18th chapter of bhagavad gita so first by swakarmana tamabhyarcha siddhim bindati pramano ha has a light undergone any change likewise in and through all our experiences good bad sorrowful happy joyous all ignorance and all that atma swarupa is in its true nature asanga not at all affected by any of these projections of the antakarna no problem on the part of atma it is in its own true nature sapratishtha atma under all circumstances at all places if that is the case why do you not know our swarupa problem is not with atma swarupa problem is with the antakarna that's why shastra says handle take care of these defects of the antakarna what are those mala vikshepa and avar mala because of all duritas etc so many obstructions are there and that is what happens hindrances are there that is to be eliminated by karma yoga vikshepa lack of steadiness agitation the mind take to upasana get the chitta naishchalya still what is that avarna erroneous notion as the body etc is me etc take to vedantik shravana manana as a result of it get rid of all the wrong notion that shuddha antakarna so prepared that antakarna which has got rid of wrong notions about oneself etc by shravana can what can gain as now a capacity to conform itself to the true nature of atma do atma is not available for vishayi karana it has got the inherent capacity a built in capacity to assume the swarupa of atma in its true nature that is why we find in 18th chapter of bhagavad gita so first there uh, by swakarmana tamabhyarcha siddhim bindati pramano ha 
सिद्धिम प्राप्त हो यथा ब्रह्म सिद्धि प्राप्त यथा ब्रह्म आपनोति तथा निबोधमी सो दिफ्टी वन वेज वट सिद्धि अंत करण शुद्धि हव इज द आत्मा स्व ज्ञान दट मीन आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू एक्चुअली देर भाष्यकार डिस्कस इज द स्वरूप ऑफ आत्म ज्ञान स्वरूप ऑफ ब्रह्म ज्ञान विच इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टंट विच गिव द क्लूज एस टू वॉट वी आर इन फॉर देर इज इज बुद्धिया विशुद्धया युक्त धृत्यात्मा निम्य च शब्दादीन विषया त्यक्वा राग द्वेश विवेक्त से लघ्वाशी अथवा कायमान सह ध्यान योग परो निम वैराग्यम समुपाशित अहंकार बल दर्पम काम क्रोधम परिग्रह विमुच्य निर्म शांत ब्रह्म भूयाय कल्पति लॉन्ग लिस्ट ऑफ वॉट इज टू बी डन इज गिवन एक्चुअली अर्लियर इन द भाष्य ऑफ फिफ्टी भाष्यकार से फॉर आत्म ज्ञान किमी कर्तव्य नस्ति नथिंग इज टू बी डन वाई प्रमाता हैंडलिंग द प्रमाण टू गेन द प्रमा इज नॉट देर बिकॉज दिस आत्मा इज ओ वेरी ज्ञान स्वरूप बट लॉट ऑफ थिंग इज टू बी डन आफ्टर द एंड ऑफ दिस वट इज दैट बुद्धिया विशुद्ध बुद्धिया दट बुद्धि इज देर दर्टेन नॉलेज मीन श्रवण कम्स इन दैट बुद्धिया विशुद्ध बुद्धि दैट इज स्पोकन दर यू कैन रिफर टू भाषा दट विशुद्ध बुद्धि स्पीक्स अबाउट द श्रवण एटसेट्रा एंड आफ्टर वर्ड All these in terms of preparation of the antakarna, so that the antakarna can assume one soul swarup. That antakarna assuming one soul swarup, that is the atmanubhava. He uses the word atmanubhava nischaya. Atmanubhava nischaya is with nischaya because otherwise what will happen? Otherwise what will happen? How are you know that because no other pramanas can give you. This is what atma can mention you. Shuti only nischaya bedran. Shuti, this is the swarupa, and here my anubhava has conformed itself to what the Shuti says. That is the basic constituent, and there Mahavakya was. I am Atma Brahma. This Atma is Brahma. When Shuti speaks of I am, that I am this, what is that? Pratyeksha nirdesha. This direct pointing out this Atma. When Shuti says I am this Atma. That you are, that means that atma, atma anubhav, or you are cognition in in accordance with the atma sarupa, true nature is not there. Will that word I am this work? Look, keep in mind, entire matrix of world is based on experience. Can you point out a single word which is capable of? Communicating, conveying something without a corresponding experience to which it refers. When Shuti says, "I am," what should be that? A cognition, anubhava to what it has referred to, it must be that. If that is not that, this is Brahma. How does it work? Tattvam se that tattvam must be what? Shodhi tattvam. Shodhi tattvam means the tattvam which is stripped off. From all the adhyastha means a direct cognition in its true nature, not the jiva tvam, but the basis adhisthana tvam. That direct cognition must be there. That is what Nishkarma Siddhikara says in the beginning of the second chapter. In spite of exposure to tattva masi mahavakya, if atma jnana doesn't take place, tvam pada na vidnya tva. He remarks straight away. This fellow doesn't know what the tvam pada. Not simply saying it is free from all. This is not going to that. It is not going to. But the direct cognition, free from all the attributed things, must be there. Then tam tat asi. Then what? I am Atma Brahma. Otherwise, see, so I am Deva Datta. A gentleman is talking to someone. Oh, hmm? that is it. By that time, other person, his friend comes, and he knows who this person is. After 20 years, he has met him. When the other friend comes, he says, "Hey, you know this person? No." This is that Devadatta, Saha, the one whom we met 20 years back, etc. We had no link with him. This is that. Now the total change is that different place, different listening status, etc. This is that. Suppose, unfortunately, this friend who has come is a schizophrenic one. You know who is schizophrenic? One who sees, hears the things that are not there, because of some problem in the 
mind. It's possible. Since one American soldier, you know, in war, he had faced a very grim situation. In the line, seven of them were there, all on both sides were shot, and he was wounded. He was that horror, etc. Somehow he survived, but that fright was in such a way that he was at times he was reliving the experience. This he was seeing what he is on the battlefront, and other others, other six persons are around him, and they are shot, and he is wounded. He was actually experiencing the pain and etc. This what some problem that is schizophrenic. Sir. Let us say this friend has become somewhat schizophrenic. And a friend is introducing, this is that Devadatta. And being a schizophrenic, you know, he is, where Devadatta is there, he is seeing a monster. So, I am Devadatta. I am is, I am is who for this person, schizophrenic person? Monster. This monster is that Devadatta whom we met 20 years back. Ho gaya? Nyan ho gaya? Why? Cognition of I am? is not correct. So, me samsari I, I am Atma Brahma, we have to sympathize with Brahma also afterwards. Why Pampada Shudana is not clear. The direct cognition of Swarupa is not there. So, that being the case, for Atma is Anubhava Swarupa true, but Anubhava that is available to us is what? colored with all the features of anātmā. Do you mean to say that it is not possible for antakkarana to have that cognition in specification with the uh, ātmā sarūpa? That is why all this Shuddha antakkarana, chitta naishchalya, that buddhya, vishuddha, etc. 51 onwards up to 54, what is told that is meant for this person not to objectify, not for vishayi karana of ātmā. So, so, Svātma Tattva Anubhavi, he is bringing this specifically because here it is not simply picking up some information. Even the knowledge that is arrived at by this lingas like Pratibodha, Viditam, etc. or Sakshi, Saksha, Drikdusha have got the linga vyavadhana. It is useful, it is Paroksha Pratipatti, but direct cognition is lacking. So there is no knowledge, if the knowledge is available for direct cognition, direct accomplishment, no knowledge which doesn't have the basic constituent of experience in conformity with things. In the case of Atma Sarupa, if Pramata is there, it is not the experience in conformity with Atma because Pramata is not the feature of Atma, it is something which is superimposed thing as such. From that standpoint, see actually you you see, what this means is Shabdartha Dnyaha Svatma Tattvanu is nothing but Shrutriyaha Brahmanishta. Or he could have said Shabdartha Dnyaha, Shabdartha Dnyaha Atma Dnyani. He has eliminated the word Atma to bring to our notice this is what the basic constituent otherwise all, that means some information will parade, parok, not information, Paroksha Dnyana will parade as Aparoksha Dnyana. So that is Anubhavi. This is this is enough for the time being because it is a big topic by itself. We have to proceed further. Okay, 120 stanzas are there. So this much is enough. At swatma tatpanu bhavicha, that is guru hu shabdartha dnyaha swatma tatpanu bhavicha dvidha bhavati. Two types are there. Adyo naraha. The earlier one. Who is this earlier one? Shabdartha Dnyaha. He has studied Shastra. He knows he has got some information. He is who? Naraha. What is mean? Earlier he was a ghost or what? Naraha mean? Me is still not a Brahma Dnyani. Why? Brahma with Brahma Eva. One who has got direct cognition of Swarupa, he is no more a India. That means no more identity the body. He is nothing but Brahma Swarupa, not lip service, nothing but Brahma Swarupa. So therefore, earlier person still is a, is a Naraha. Why? Reason he gives, Naratva Bhrantyanashana. 
narattva bhrante he anashana his wrong notion that i am a human when this notion of i am a human can come with identification of the body with deha tadatma this notion come this wrong notion has not gone and therefore what he has got some information so therefore what he is naraha only that's why he says and specifically says natu brahma he is not brahma why brahma jnana is not there actually swatma tattva anubhavi means aparoksha jnani only one who has got the brahma jnana because he is not the brahma so this way we have got two types of gurus okay but at least he has got shabdartha jnatva or not does he know from is he not better from a lay person yes that is true he is better than the lay person and if he pursues certainly he can get aparoksha jnana but he is not fit to teach why the teaching will not work why will it not work let us see te nokte samshaya eva sirvacha bahu yojana brahmaivanubhavitena brahma proktam vibudhyate anvaya vacha bahu yojana tena ukte ad sati saushayaha eva bhu vacha bahu yojana tena ukte sati sati to be added saushayaha eva sihu anubhavi ब्रह्म एव तेन प्रोक्त ब्रह्म विबुध्य तेन प्रोक्त ब्रह्म विबुध्य वाचा बहु योजना वाचा मीन्स हिर् बै स्पीच मीन्स इन टर्म्स ऑफ टीचिंग बहु योजना व्हाट इज बहु योजना योजना मीन्स हिर् कनेक्शन connection in terms of quotations etc or we can say interpretations so so many types of interpretations etc vacha bahu yojana tena ukte sati when ta ukte means taught when taught by such a person saushayaha eva sihu what is with that only doubts only because this person himself is not clear as to what the atma tattva atma swarupa is so how he can that means make other one discover what the swarupa is all that will be there only swollen head will be there saushaya ha eva sivo where are other person who is that anubhavi brahma eva see swatma tattva anubhavi was said one who has got a direct cognition of one's true nature he is no naraha like this person not na He is who Brahma Eva Brahma with Brahma Eva Bhavati. Verily Brahma because in terms of his cognition that what the direct cognition is that afterwards he knows everything is mitya. So not that he has to once that means at will if he can appreciate one sarupa everything entire jagat gets reduced to what mitya. Why that comes goes but atma sarupa all along what it is he can directly cognize. So that means that is. अनुभवे ब्रह्म एव तेन प्रोक्तम ब्रह्म मीन ब्रह्म टॉट बाय दिस पर्सन विबुध्यते वन इज एबल टू नो वन कैन गेन दैट नॉलेज वन नो व्हाट द आत्म स्वरूप इज सो दिस वे दैट द द गुरुज आर ऑफ टू टाइप्स द वन देन हु इज लेट अस से हु इज द राइट गुरु ही इज गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन इन 19 स्टैंडर्ड कुतर्कनाशते विद्या तार्किको न गुरुस्ततः आगमे चानुभूतौच कुशलोत्र गुरुर्भवे अन्वय कुतर्का विद्या नश्यते तार्किका गुरु न तथ आगमे अनु आगमे चुभूत कुशल 
Atra Guru Bhavi. So who is a guru is described. Kutarkat Vidya Nashati. By vicious logic, illogic, logic which is not tarka, which is not in accordance with the shuti. That which is which is not shuti sammata tarka. By such means which has no sanction of the shruti, by such tarka, by such reasoning, vidya nashati. What you said is knowledge gets destroyed means not knowledge gets destroyed. What it means is knowledge is not gained. Nashate has to be taken here is no, Nashate means is not gained. By such logic which are not in conformity, which are not in accordance with the Shruti, knowledge is not gained and therefore this Tarki Kaha, the one who totally relies on Tarka, discarding the Shruti, Tarki Kaha, Guru Hu Na Bhavati, is not a Guru. Certainly Vedanta makes use of Yukti Tarka, but in the accordance with the Shruti, not independent Tarka. Nahi Tarkas Kutarkasya Pratishtha Vidyate, that is what Bhashara says in Bhasha. Then who is the Guru then? So therefore, he should be both, that means adapt in both. Agamecha Anubhutaucha Kushalaha Atra Guru Bhavi. Now we know. What is Svatma Tattva Anubhava? So Agame means Shastra. Anubhutaucha Anubhuti. Now you can know what is Anubhuti Prakasha. What he refers to Anubhuti as here? Agamecha Anubhuta Anubhuti Prakasha, revelation or elucidation of Anubhuti, Atma Swarupa. So Bedran Upanishad. Anubhutaucha Kushalaha, one who is proficient in both. Atra, Atra means Brahma Vidyayam, in Brahma Vidya, Guru Hu Bhavi is a guru. That is what he said, Shotriyaha, Brahma Nishtaha, together. So he is a guru. So that's why I see in northern India, among the sannyasi circles, there is a saying, Pani piye chan ke guru kare jan ke. Pani piye chan ke. Drink the, always drink the water after filtering it. Guru kare jan ke. We ke guru hai. Knowing properly whether he is what. He is fit to be that or this. Sometimes no, such, such sayings are, they, they convey a lot as yes, such. And that's why among sannyasis that is there, North India. Pani piye chan ke guru kare jan ke. So look, Vidya, one thing one we should note about Vidya Aranamani. So he is not, he is the one who totally follows Sampradaya. Even by mistake he has done something which against the Sampradaya, he, is, he has got the openness of the mind to correct himself. No, you see, after Adi Shankaracharya, in the horizon of Vedanta, the greatest luminary, of course, Sureshwar Acharya is excluded. Immediate disciples are kept aside. Other than the immediate disciples, in the Vedanta, the luminaries is what? The first luminary is who? Vidyaranya Muni. And he has written so many books. Yet, you know, he had a custom. He had a habit. What is that? Whenever he has written a new book, he used to call a conference of great scholars. In fact, no one was equal to him. And yet he had that, that simplicity to call the conference of all the great scholars and he used to read his work and invite that comments. Vidyaranibhani had written Tika on Rudra. You know? Rudra, him, Rudra. And as usual he called the, that means con convention of all this. And he read it. At one place, so namo namo rishike, uh, yes, rishike shaya namaha. No, no, not rishike shaya. Uh, Hari keshaya, not rishike. Namo namo harike shaya namaha. Hari keshaya namaha. So he was commenting. He did Hari. Ka Isha. Hari is who? Vishnu. 
desire to gain the knowledge is that good. That is good compared to other masses. But old habits continue. Bahir Mukha always he is engrossed in the vishayas, the sense of that. Bahir Mukha na sya. Then is it that this very difficult to gain the knowledge? Yes, but there is a means. What is that? Adhyatmam yogam acharan. Taking to the practice or taking to Adhyatma Yoga. This is another, this is a word specifically given by Kothopanishad. Adhyatma Yoga. We know Karma Yoga, Bhakti Yoga, Sankhya Yoga. What is Adhyatma Yoga? Bhashakara has explained that. What is Adhyatma Yoga Maacharan? He says, what is Adhyatma Yoga? Vishaye Bhash, this is what Bhashya. Vishaye Bhya Pratisaurutya Chetasaha Atmani Samadhanam. Bhashikara explain this, otherwise a difficult word is Adhyatma Yoga. Say, Vishaye Bhya Pratisaurutya Chetasaha. Mind having withdrawn from the Vishaya sense object, the Chetasa mind, what is to be done? Atmani Samadhanam, making the mind absorbed in the Atma Swarupa. Absorbed in the Atma Swarupa means what? Sitting on Atma, hatching Atma. What is it? Antakarna appearing like Atma. Antakarna assuming the nature of Atma. Atma is all the time in its own Swarupa, but problem is that at what level? Antakkana level. Either Avarna is there or Vikshupa is there. They are nullified afterward. Nothing needs to be done. What happens? Atma. Atma will be directly reflected in Swarupa. See, to see your face after presenting yourself in front of the mirror, what you have to do? In front of a mirror, which is a plain mirror and a clean mirror. These two things are required. Should not be concave or convex and should not be dirty. Okay. Such in front of such a mirror you have gone, what you have to do? Anything needs to be done? Automatically? Yes. Okay, fine. Now, Atma Swarupa is there or not? Yes. If this Antakarna is relieved or Remove, that means feed from the defect of Vikshepa and Avarna, what happens? Atma Swarupa automatically gets reflected. That is what is called as assume, at, Antakarna assuming the Atma Swarupa. That is the Atma Anubhava. Shruti comes and tells, I am Atma. This is Atma Swarupa. Otherwise, no other means for us to know that. If this is not accepted, Pramana, Vishruti Pramana will be defunct, it will not be operative. It will be only Paksha Paroksha Pratipatti, not Aparoksha Pratipatti. Om Swasti Prajabhya Paripadayanta Nyaye Namarge Namahe Mahesha Go Brahmane Pino Kale Vashatu Parjanya Prativi Sasashali Desho Yamcho Parahita Brahmana Santo Nirbhaya O Sarve Bhavantu Sukhina Sarve Santo Niramaya Sarve Bhadrahi Pashantu Mahakasya Dukkha Bhaktave Asato Ma Sadgamaya Tamaso Ma Yotir Gamaya Vrityor Ma Amritam Gamaya Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purna Purnamudachyate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishyate Om Shanti 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 Hari Om